Hey, welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to download the Edge Wallet to your phone and get it set up. Uh, you can find it in the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Once you hit download, it should be very simple to download it. And then we're going to go through the steps of what to do once it's installed on the phone. Okay, now that it's installed, we're going to hit open. And we're going to go through the initial setup. Now you can either sign into an existing account or create an account. We're going to click create an account. Uh, very easy. Click get started. And create a username if you don't already have one. Just going to make up one for this one. And put in a password, strong, secure, and a pin number. All right. Once you got password and pin number set up, it will begin the setup process uh, where you can also show your account information here if you click it just to verify before you hit next. And then the normal terms and conditions. You're going to want to read over these and click each one. And hit confirm and finish down at the bottom. It's going through the initial setup phase. And it's downloading each wallet, whether, you know, for each cryptocurrency, whether it's Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Bitcoin, those are already preloaded on the wallet. You can add support for any wallet in that process as well. All right, and here we're showing the menu on the right side of the screen. One thing we're going to show you in the final setup process is you're going to hit settings right here and here you can set up password recovery. You're going to have to confirm your password anytime you want to make security changes. So I can hit set up password recovery and it will show options of recovery questions and other steps here. You can hit done. You can see a list of questions here as a sample. And then one last thing that's very important is set up two factor security, two factor authentication. You can enable that here and using Google Authenticate or an Authenticator app to finalize that. And that is it for the setup. You can see some of the other menu options here so you can get in and get used to it. In the next video, we'll show you how to set up FIO names and FIO requests.